हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड एम्पलीफायर गेन इनपुट एंड आउटपुट रेजिस्टेंस टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कॉन्सेप्ट लेट अस कंसीडर एन एम्पलीफायर विथ इनपुट सिग्नल एज वेल एज आउटपुट सिग्नल सो हियर इनपुट सिग्नल विल बी ए स्मॉल सिग्नल एंड आउटपुट सिग्नल विल बी ए लार्ज सिग्नल both input signal and output signal consist of voltage and current which we call that as v in which is input voltage i in which will be input current v not is the output voltage and i not is the output current from our previous discussion we understood that amplifier amplifies the weak signal which means it increases the power of weak signal to produce a strong signal so which you can see from this diagram where we are having a small signal at the input and at the output we are having a large signal gain can be generally defined as the ratio of output to the input so gain can be generally defined as the ratio of output to the input now from this general definition we can define the voltage gain voltage gain is generally represented as av so we can define voltage gain av as v not divided by v in so it can be defined as output voltage to the input voltage now let us understand current gain current gain can be represented as ai current gain can be defined as ai is equal to i not divided by i in so it is the ratio of output current to the input current so current gain is the ratio of output current to the input current next we will see power gain generally power gain can be represented as ap so we can define power gain as output power to the input power we know power can be defined as current into voltage therefore output power can be written as i not into v not which is the product of output current and output voltage divided by we can write input power as i in into v in which is the product of input voltage and input current therefore we can write power gain as we can split the above equation and write i not by i in into v not by v in so power gain can be written as i not by i in we can write it as current gain into v not by v in as voltage gain so av so power gain can be written as voltage gain multiplied with current gain now let us understand input resistance input resistance is the ratio of input voltage to input current so we can write input resistance r in is equal to v in divided by i in now let us understand output resistance it is the ratio of output voltage to output current therefore we can write r not is equal to v not divided by i not so output resistance is the ratio of output voltage to the output current so this is about amplifier input and output resistance i hope you have understood the topic thank you